Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. Yesterday we spoke about pursuing and recovering all that God has for us. Today we're getting into perseverance. And what does persevere really mean? It means to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no indication of success. And Joshua would have faced this when he was called to battle. Now the story starts off with five kings banding together in order to come up against the Gibeonites who Joshua had indeed made a league with. And now Joshua was tasked with not just defending them, but winning the battle. So we're going to go to Joshua 10, 8 to 14. And it says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomforted them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Haran and smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Haran that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then Joshua spake to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still till upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. So today, God is talking to us about perseverance. Now five kings banding together, bringing their mighty men of valor to fight with Joshua and the Gibeonites, and by extension the Israelites, is to say that it was a big war. There were plenty men. Joshua brought men of valor with him and they fought with the five kings and their tribes, but they were not able to kill all of them. And the scripture goes on to say that more people died from hailstones than by the hand of Joshua and the Israelites. So it means to say, as the scripture said, God is fighting for Israel. It means to say that God was fighting for them so much that he actually took out the majority of the people. And it said that Joshua traveled from Gilgal all night. So he was walking all night and then he came upon the men suddenly and he started to fight so he didn't rest he just pursued god told him to go ahead he went ahead he even commanded the sun and the moon to stand still until the battle was over god was fighting for him with the hailstones and god made the sun and the moon to stand still and it said that god said unto Joshua, do not fear because the victory is his. And then Joshua said through God to the sun and moon, stand still. So Joshua was persevering in the face of this difficulty, in the face of little to no indication of success. Five kings 
and their tribes stood against Joshua and because God said to Joshua, he has the victory, Joshua persevered. He did not look at the numbers he was facing. He did not look at who was in the war. He did not look at their qualifications, their skills, anything. He looked at his God and he persevered and he won the war. Coming down to the end of the scripture, it said that he killed the five kings. So he persevered and he won the one. It said that there was no day like this before it or after it where the sun and the moon stood still because God hearkened unto the voice of a man. How wonderful it must have been when Joshua spoke to God and said, sun stand still, moon stand still, and everything stopped at the word of Joshua because God was fighting for him. God was fighting for Israel. He received an instruction and he went forth. He persevered. He did not study the opposition, what they looked like, how big they were, the giants. In the he did not consider any of those things. All he considered was the instruction of God and he executed that with excellence. He stood against the enemy. He believed God in the face of opposition and he won the battle because God was fighting for him. If God gave you an instruction, God will fight for you. Do not look at the troubles that surround you. Do not look at the enemies you face. Do not look at the giants that may stand before you because those giants will fall. The enemy will live to regret their decision against you. You will have the victory. So do not be afraid. Stand like Joshua, speak to your situation, and God will hearken unto you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.